हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ आशीष चावला टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्वेयर हेमिस्फेयर टुडे वी टैक अबाउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्वेयर लेट्स से दिस इज अ स्वेयर स्वेयर ऑफ रेडियस आर सो इट्स वॉल्यूम is defined as 4 upon 3 pi r cube so this is the volume of a sphere and what is the volume of a hollow sphere volume of a hollow sphere or you can say a spherical shell let's draw the diagram for the volume of hollow sphere there is a external radius known as capital r and the internal radius having radius small r and there is nothing inside it so this is a hollow sphere or you can say a spherical shell so the volume of this spherical shell is defined as the volume of outer sphere minus volume of the inner sphere so the volume of the outer sphere is 4 upon 3 pi capital r cube and the volume of the inner sphere is 4 upon 3 pi small r cube we take 4 upon 3 pi common so capital r cube minus small r cube so this is the volume of a hollow sphere or you can say a spherical shell now we move to the hemisphere so the volume of hemisphere now we talk about the volume of hemisphere let's first draw the diagram of it so this is the shape of a hollow sorry this is the shape of a sphere hemisphere of radius r as we know that the volume of a sphere is 4 upon 3 pi r cube so its volume is half of the sphere so its volume is half of the sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube so it can be written as 4 and 2 or get cancel we get 2 upon 3 pi r cube so the volume of hemisphere is 2 upon 3 pi r cube now we talk about the volume of a hemisphere hollow hemisphere volume of hollow hemisphere or you can say a hemispherical shell or a hemispherical shell now first draw the diagram of it so this is the shape of a hollow hemisphere having external radius capital r and the internal radius is small r and the difference between the external radius and the internal radius is known as thickness this portion of the material from which this hemispherical shell is made now we have to find the volume let's say we first we find the volume of this hemisphere uh, metal from which this hemispherical shell is made volume of hemispherical or the hollow hemisphere the volume of hemisphere hollow hemisphere is defined as the volume of the outer hemisphere that is 2 upon 3 pi capital r cube minus volume of the inner hemisphere that is 2 upon 3 pi small r cube now we take 2 upon 3 pi common so we left with capital r cube minus small r cube so this is the volume of a hollow hemisphere or you can say the volume of the metal used to make this hemispherical shell now let's start the problem based on sphere and hemisphere now the first problem find the surface area find the surface area of sphere 
having volume having volume 4851 cm cubic so in this question we are given a sphere whose volume is given to us the volume is 4851 cm cubic and we have to find the surface area to find the surface area so the volume is given to us that is 4851 and we know the formula for the volume of a hem sphere is 4 upon 3 pi r cube which is equals to 4851 so r cube is equals to 4851 Now 4 by 3 pi is shifted to the right hand side, so it becomes 3 upon 4 pi. Now I put the values 4851 into 3, 4 in place of pi I put 22 upon 7, so 22 7 is shifted to the upside like that. Now we have to cancel the terms which can be cancelled, so 4851 and 22 are get cancelled by 11. So 11, 2, and 4, 8, 5, 1, times 45. Again, 4 times 1 remaining. That is 11. That is 4, 41. So what we have left? 4, 41. 7 into 3. That is 21. And 4 into 2. That is 8. And we know that 4, 41 is a square of 21. So 4, 41 can be written as 21 into 21 into 21. And 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. So So what we have r cube is equals to so 21 into 21 into 21 can be written as 21 cube so we can write 2 into 2 into 2 can be written as 2 cube or we can write 21 by 2 the whole cube so cube and cube are get cancelled so we left with r is equals to 21 by 2 so the radius of the sphere is 21 by 2 cm now to find its surface area the formula for the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square now put the values 4 pi 22.7 and r is 21 by 2 so 2 and 2 that is 4 cancel with 4 7 threes are 21 so what we have left 22 21 into 3 we get 63 so 22 into 63 we get 1386 cm square so this is the surface area of a sphere now we move to the next question the ratio of volume of two sphere is 64 is to 27 find difference of their surface area find the difference of their surface area if their sum of radii sum of radii is 7 cm so here we are talking about the two spheres let's say this is the first sphere and this is another sphere let's say this radius of this sphere is r1 and the radius of this sphere is r2 now it is given that the ratio of their volume that is let's say the volume of the sphere is v1 and the volume of the sphere is v2 now we have given that the ratio of their volume that is v1 upon v2 is given to us that is 64 by 27 64 by 27 that is given to us so what is the formula of volume of sphere that is 4 upon 3 pi radius cube that is r1 cube volume 4 upon 3 pi r2 cube which is equal to 64 by 27 now cancel all the common terms 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 get cancelled pi get cancelled so we left with r1 cube upon r2 cube or we can write as r1 upon r2 the whole cube which is equals to and we know that 64 is a cube of 4 and 27 is a cube of 3 so we can write as 4 by 3 the whole cube now 3 and 3 are get cancelled so we get r1 upon r2 is equals to 4 by 3 or we can say that 
the ratio of radius is 4 is to 3. We can say that R1 equals to let's say 4x and R2 equals to 3x. Because the ratios of the radius is 4 is to 3, we can say that R1 is equals to 4x and R2 equals to 3x. Now, as in the question given that the sum of the radii is 7, that is R1 plus R2 is given to us, that is 7. Now, we put the values in place of R1, I put 4x. In place of R2, I put 3x equals to 7. 4x plus 3x, 7x, that is equals to 7. So, x equals to 1. Now, so therefore, the value of R1 is equals to 4 into 1, that is 4 centimeter. And the radius of R2, that is 3 into 1, is equals to 3 centimeter. Now, we have to find the difference in their surface area. So, difference in their surface area is equals to 4 pi r1 square. The surface area of the first square that is 4 pi r1 square minus 4 pi r2 square. We take 4 pi common, so r1 square minus r2 square. Now put the values 4 pi 22 upon 7 r1 that is 4 square r2 that is 3 square so 4 into 22 that is 88 by 7 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 so 88 upon 7 into 16 minus 9 that is 7 7 and 7 are get cancelled so we left with 88 so the answer is 88 centimeter square so the difference in surface area is 88 centimeter square now we move to the next question A hemispherical, a hemispherical bowl of internal diameter, internal diameter 36 centimeter contain liquid. Now this liquid, this liquid is to be filled in, is to be filled in cylindrical cylindrical bottle of radius 3 cm and height 6 cm how many how many such bottles are required how many such bottles are required so let's start the problem so what we have given we have given a hemispherical bowl let's see this is a hemispherical bowl hemispherical bowl having internal diameter 36 centimeter so we can say that the internal radius let's say small r internal diameter is 36 centimeters so its internal radius is 36 divided by 2 that is 18 centimeter. Now the liquid in this, let's say this is a liquid. Liquid in this hemisphere, this hemis, the liquid in this hemispheres is filled in the cylindrical bottles. Let's say this is a cylindrical bottle. Its radius is given to us. Its radius is given to us. That is 3 centimeter, and its height is also given to us that is 6 cm so we have to fill this whole liquid in this hem into this cylindrical bottles so the question is how many such bottles are required let assume that there are such n bottles are required that's n bottles are required to fill this entire liquid into this cylindrical bottles so in this both the situations uh, the volume of the liquid remains same. The volume of the liquid in this hemisphere is nothing but the volume of this hemisphere, which is e which is to be filled in now in cylindrical bottles. So the volume of this n cylindrical bottles is equals to the volume of the liquid. So we equate these two volumes. So the volume of liquid is equals to the volume of hemisphere 
and the volume of liquid is also equals to n times the volume of cylinder why because we transfer this whole liquid in n cylindrical bottles now we equate these two equations so we can say that the volume of hemisphere is equals to n times the volume of cylinder now we put the formulas so the volume of the hemisphere is 2 upon 3 pi r cube n times the volume of cylinder is pi r square h the radius is denoted by let's say r dash because these two r get same so pi r dash square h now to cancel all the common terms pi and pi r get cancelled so we left with so we left with now let's start with the next problem a hemispherical bowl a hemispherical bowl is made of steel is made of steel 1 cm thick the inside the inside radius the inside radius of the bowl the inside radius of the bowl is 6 cm fine first part volume of volume of steel used volume of steel used to make the bowl second volume of liquid that can hold by this bowl third find mass of the bowl if the density of steel is the density of the steel is 8.9 gram per centimeter cubic so let's start with the problem so what is given to us we are given a hemispherical bowl let's say this is a hemispherical bowl whose internal radius is given to us whose internal radius is given to us that is equals to 6 cm and the steel the thickness of the steel is 1 cm so this is 1 cm so by this we can say that the external radius is equals to small r plus thickness that should be equals to 6 plus 1 so external radius is 7 cm now the volume of the steel used the first part the volume of the steel used can be find out by subtracting the volume of the inner hemisphere minus sorry by subtracting the volume of the inner hemisphere from the outer hemisphere so the volume of the outer hemisphere that is 2 upon 3 pi r cube the volume of the inner hemisphere that is 2 upon 3 pi small r cube we take 2 by 3 pi common so capital R cube minus small r cube now we put the values we get 2 upon 3 pi that is 22 upon 7 r cube that is 7 cube small r that is 6 cube so 2 into 22 that is 44 3 into 7 that is 21 7 cube is 343 6 cube is 216 so 44 by 21 343 minus 216 we getting 127 now 44 into 127 we are getting 11,176 44 into 127 we are getting 5,588 now 
divided by 21. So when we divide it by 21, we are getting 266.09 centimeter cubic. So this is the volume of the steel used to make this bowl. Now the second part that how much liquid that it can hold. So by looking the, at this figure, we can say that by looking at this figure, we can say that the volume of the liquid that it can take is the this hollow part. So this hollow part is nothing but the volume of the inside hemisphere. So the volume of the liquid that can hold by the bowel is equals to the volume of the inner hemisphere. So volume of the liquid that it can hold is equals to the volume of inner hemisphere. Volume of liquid that a bowel can hold is equals to the volume of inner hemisphere. So which is equals to 2 by 3 pi small r cube. Now we put the values 2 by 3 pi 22 upon 7 the small r is 6. So 6 into 6 into 6. So 3 and 6 are getting 2 times. So we left with 2 into 22 that is 44. 44 into 2 that is 88. And 6 into 6 that is 36 divided by 7. So 88 into 36 by 7 we are getting 88 into 36 we are getting 3168 divided by 7. When we divided by 7 we are getting 452.57 452.57 centimeter cubic. So this much quantity of liquid that it can hold. Now the third part we have to find the mass. We know that the mass is defined as density into volume. So the so the density is given to us that is 8.9 gram per centimeter cubic and the volume of the steel that we are using is 266.09 that we find in the first part. So when we are multiplying these two we are getting that is 8.9 multiplied with 266.09 we are getting 2368.20 so the answer is in grams because the density is gram centimeter per cubic so the mass of the bowel is 2368.20 grams now we move to the next question